Many systems need to be balanced in order to obtain a particular flow rate, either at some outlet point or around some loop within the system. It is often necessary to introduce some additional pressure loss to control the flow rate. In Pipe Flow Expert, you can add a flow control valve to a pipe to set a specified flow rate and the pressure loss required across the valve will be calculated. In the system on the screen, we have a simple arrangement where there's a tank connected by two pipes to an outlet pressure. On pipe 2, we have a flow control valve and if we click on the icon for the flow control valve, we can see that it is set to control the flow at 200 US gallons per minute. There are three ways to add a flow control valve to a pipe. You can click on the pipe to select it and then in the pipe pane you can click on the add edit control valve button or you can right click on the pipe and select the add edit control valve option or you can click on the add control valve button in the toolbar and then you just click on the pipe to add the flow control valve to. All three of these options will bring up the set control data dialog window which we've just looked at. If we go ahead and solve this system by clicking the calculate button we can view the results drawing and we can hover over the pipes in the system and see that the flow is flowing at 200 US gallons per minute. We can also see that there has been a control loss added of just over 4.8 feet of head. And this is the loss that the flow control valve has introduced into the system in order to control the flow at 200 US gallons per minute. If we go back into design mode and click on pipe 2, we can switch off or deactivate the control valve using this checkbox next to the flow control valve button. And you can see in, in the system model, the flow control valve has been greyed out, which means it's not being factored into the calculations. So if we recalculate this system now, view the results drawing, and hover over the pipes in the system, we can see that we have now an increased flow of just over 282 US gallons per minute, which is because the flow control valve is not controlling the flow anymore. A flow control valve cannot add pressure to generate a specified flow rate. The system pressures must already be capable of generating a flow rate which exceeds the flow control valve's specified flow. When a flow control valve setting exceeds the maximum natural flow rate that is possible, then an error is reported. A flow control valve adds a loss in order to control the flow. Therefore, the chosen flow control valve in the real world system must be capable of adding this loss to the system.